You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff <laughs> on tequilaaficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California. I'm Mike Morales. You see how Alex's face just kind of just lights up? It's just so cool to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike awesome. Morales in Tejas. Yeah. What's that? It's my chaotic face. It's your chaotic face because we are doing chaos, which rhymes, which rhymes with Taos. Well, kind of. Taos, Taos. My, you know, Taos, one of my favorite places in New Mexico when I lived there, um, because all great things begin with Taos or chaos. <laughs> now, Alex and I loved the Blanco, really a traditional Blanco from um, Nome for, uh, 1460. Is that correct? I, I don't have my so. glasses on. Let me let me get my glasses. And, uh, yep, 1460. It is traditional, uh, a traditional tequila from Arandas. It really tasted that way. That Blanco just shined right through, and it shined right through the Reposado, right, Alex? Yes. So now we have the Añejo. And uh, if I'm on their website, the Añejo um, says it's double distilled, 18 months in white American oak bourbon barrels. Now, look how dark this one is compared to the Repo. Yeah, it's much darker than the Repo. Yeah, I think at 18 months. But even, you know, like I said, with, with the 10-month Repo Silo, I was surprised it wasn't dark as dark as it should have as what I what I thought it should have been. And it's the same uh, same American oak uh, bourbon, bourbon barrels, too. Yes. This is a, lo a lot richer You'll notice too, folks, when when you're doing this, if you do it with a with a either a snifter or or a Riedel glass like what we're doing, um, the there's not a real heavy pronounced legs or tears. I mean, you know, um, there's probably just enough natural, natural. There's probably enough natural glycerin that happens during distillation, but other than that, it doesn't really. It's not like it's runny, but it's not clingy either. Wow. Oh, you like it already, huh? The nose, the <laughs> nose on this is very nice. Ooh. Actually, didn't expect this. Whoa. You know, See, it doesn't, it doesn't come through like solo. this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, now this, this is nice. Wow. Now you've got the, the vanilla and the honey notes yep. coming out. Yep. It smells really thick and rich. It, you know? They're a good group, too, thick and rich. Thick oh, no, and rich. That, that's big and rich. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been living here a year now, so I've been listening to a lot of country music. Got some chocolate in there, too. i got got some chocolate notes. Chocolate? Really? Chocolate. Oh, no. Chocolate, chocolate. Wow. What a beautiful oh. nose, though. This is the this is kind of what I expected in the reposado. But or at least a little bit. Of, at least a preview of this. Yeah, yeah. But but this is definitely so. Now, if you're looking for that kind of a of a of a of an American oak uh, uh, bourbon smell, and uh, you know this is this is the añejo is for you. This is probably what you're looking for. Well, I'm getting some chocolate. Darn that thing smell! But you know what else, Alex? You get the spices, and you're getting the. I'm getting dried fruit. Yeah, definitely some spiciness. Well, the the website says uh, cinnamon, wood spice. Uh, you know, whatever. I don't know. Not getting, I'm still not getting any cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm, nice. It is still very sweet and floral. Hmm. Wow. I love the nose on this thing, Alex. This is just, you could just sit here and just sniff it. <clears throat> Beautiful on entry. Mm. So smooth. Mm. Mm. Coats the palate. It's got like, mm. some good strength to it, but it's not real spicy or hot. This is what I mean by it goes in sweet, 
and it finishes dry. Right. Okay. This is the traditional bourbon You're kind right. of finish that you get. Wow, this is a great cigar tequila. It's a great dessert tequila, I think. Mm. Um, Alex, would you put it in a cocktail? Would you venture to go out and put it in a cocktail? Sure, of my trusty old fashioned. Wow, and it coats the palate. It's got a nice, um, wow, wow. But it's got a, it's not an offensive aftertaste. It's a, it's a, it's a woodsy aftertaste. That's very good. Wow. Again, it's a, it's a kosher tequila. You'll see the seal on the back. Um, so for with the upcoming holidays, that's probably very, if that's important to you, definitely take a look for this tequila. My understanding is, according to the website, they launched in Austin. Uh, they they are headed for Arizona, and uh, and Colorado. I can't wait for you guys to get this in Southern California because I bet the price point. Uh, you know, obviously the bottle is not the fanciest thing in the world and that's okay because they they really spent their money and time on the quality of the juice and that that merits a lot that's that's a, that's why we we nominated the blanco for brand of promise the reposado for brand of promise what do you think Anil, I, nominate, Prom- I nominate okay brand of promise Anil category oh, this is beautiful it is very good surprising though it's a it's really surprising you just never know ladies and gentlemen where where good stuff like this is coming from uh, they picked a great distillery um, they you know it's an arandas tequila if you're if anybody is familiar with the the terrar from the highlands arandas is considered the the cradle of the of the highlands and and uh, although people from Atotonilco might might argue with me uh, but in any case, uh, I'm speechless, man. It, go out and find it. If you can get a, if you can get a, you know, a, a bumper sticker, um, go out and get. Look for this tequila. I, I, like I say, highly recommended. Very good. Wow. And just, you know what? Just and spend time with it. This is one of those tequilas you don't want to shoot. You don't want to mess. You know, spend some real time with it because they. You want to caress your tequila. Yes. <laughs> you know, they, they obviously, they uh, again, they're not spending the money on the bottle. This is a stock bottle. You've seen several tequilas that come up with this with this style bottle. So don't be confused by the style. Look at the label, and even the name. To me, I'm not sh- I'm not exactly sure. You know, if I totally agree with the the name, but obviously the four partners involved thought that that was that was what they wanted. But they really, really spent the 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 focus. Of, of this brand with the juice and I I really enjoy this tequila this is just wow I like, I like it a lot hey brand of promise again brand for the promise. Anejo uh, Reposado and Blanco uh, from Tequila Aficionado will for 2014 we'll have the the winners upcoming uh, in 2015 uh, early 2015 so in the meantime I'm Mike Morales here in Texas and I'm Alex in Southern California, enjoying chaos, and we hope you get a chance to do that too. Mm-hmm. You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com, and as always, sip wisely. <laughs>